What's going on guys? This is Jigsaw here. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys my tricks and tips on how to improve your aim at Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, there's something that you're going to be able to do to practice your aiming. And while most videos on YouTube are going to tell you to put on some bots on Strike Zone and Free For All, I'm telling you that's not what you need to do. You need to put it on Warhawk Free For All. Put it on unlimited number of lives, unlimited uh, time limit, make sure radar's always on, and then the important thing that we're going to do next here is turn on um, a certain custom class. And I'll explain why this is when we're actually in the gameplay. You will put on the CBJ with extended mag and flash suppressor, no secondary, no lethal, and you don't really need a tactical here. You're going to put on marathon, lightweight, dead silence, focus, uh, sleight of hand, and ready up. You want these perks so you can stay mobile, but you're also going to make the same class but you're going to make um, an MTAR class instead of the CBJ. Now this is going to be your quote-unquote good class. So you want the same perks, but you want to have the MTAR with um, a muzzle brake and a foregrip, because that's a pretty standard uh, class that you would be using online, in my opinion. Uh, you know, camo obviously doesn't matter. We'll toss on gold here for fun. And you want to make sure you toss on as many bots as you can, and make sure they are on regular, not recruit, hardened, or veteran. They should be on regular. And again, I'll start explaining this in one moment. So, um, the reason I don't want you on a uh, Strike Zone map is because Strike Zone is way too close quarters. And you're really not going to be working on your accuracy as much because it, they're easy shots to hit, frankly. Um, you want Warhawk so you have a good combination of uh, long range shots, medium range shots, and close range shots. So that's why I picked Warhawk. Um, I think Warhawk does this map, or does this best. Uh, you know, you could pick your own map if you have a preference you want to play on, but you want to at least engage in a map that has close, medium, and long-range gunfights. And, you know, like I said, Warhawk does this best, I think. The reason you have on the CBJ is because the accuracy is horrible. It's absolutely horrible on this weapon. You know, you're using it, and it's it's got recoil that shoots skyward every time. Um, the reason we have no foregrip on or no muzzle brake on is because... It takes a lot of bullets to get kills with CBJ normally, um, and I don't want you having any additional damage from range, and I don't want you having any additional anything um, that'll help you win the gunfight. So then after you get 100 kills, yes, I mean it, 100 kills with a CBJ against bots, uh, you want to start working on your tar shot. Now, you will definitely feel... Um, it's, it's easier to hit the shots, you know, you can feel it after switching from the CBJ for 100 kills, and you need to do the 100 kills, seriously. That's the that's one of the most important parts, is to really grind out the 100 kills with the CBJ. But after you get all those kills, you're going to want to be using the MTAR, because the MTAR is a little bit more of a, a commonly used weapon, I guess. Um, the recoil isn't perfect on it, but it you know, like I said, it's a common weapon, so it's one that you should be having a good accuracy with. And start getting kills with that. Now... The reason that you have on regular bots instead of, you know, recruit or veteran like most people would suggest is because you're working on your shot here, okay? You're not working on winning gunfights, you're working on your accuracy. You're working on, you know, when when should you hit fire, but most importantly, you're working on hitting your shots when you're ADS. Um, the reason I have on regular bots here is because recruits are just simply too easy, and veterans are way too hard, like I said, so you're not working on your gunfight, you're working on your accuracy. And the reason you have on regular bots is because regular bots are, like, stupid enough, I guess you could say, that um, it's not hard to kill them at all. But they are smart enough that if you miss too many shots, they'll make you pay for it. Uh, which is nice because, you know, if you have a horrible shot on one of your kills, you know, and, you know they might turn around and kill you. Um, that's why I like to have regular bots on, because they're not too stupid like Recruit, but they're not too good like Veteran. So when you're getting all these kills, one of the most important things you need to work on is your centering of uh, your sights on the map. And that's kind of hard to explain, but pretty much what it means is you want to make sure that your crosshairs that you see that you're running with all the time, you always have up. You really want to make sure that those are like on the center of your screen. And you don't want to like, you don't want to aim down sights when you're not, when you do not have someone in your crosshairs when you're going to get a kill, you know. You want to make sure that they're that the enemy that you're shooting at is as close to the center of your crosshairs as you can possibly make it happen. Um, when you do this and you keep grinding this through your head and making yourself and forcing yourself to do this, you will get good accuracy because what this does, it allows you to hit your first shot. When you hit your first shot, your chances of winning a gunfight go up tremendously. 
So these are the kind of things you need to keep in mind when you are um, working on your accuracy. You know, it's not about how many kills you get here, uh, except for make sure you got the 100 with the CBJ. And then I would recommend getting at least 50 with the MTAR, so you're used to the MTAR recoil again. And then you can, you know, go hop in an online match and practice. And keep doing this for as long as you're able to, uh, and it'll really help you improve your accuracy. I promise you that, and it's worked for me, and it'll definitely work for you. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos just like this one. This is Jigsaw, signing out.